Good morning, guys. Afternoon. It's drizzling again. So we didn't get out to do any mowing today. As you've seen, we were picking flowers earlier and using my weed burner. We're getting things cleaned up here. We got over two and a half inches of rain in the last five or four, maybe three or four days. And it's raining today. So I'm taking advantage and I'm burning this down. Um, all the pile down so we can get all this cleaned up. And do you guys want to see what we're going to do as a project today? Our project today is here. We're gonna revive this grape patch. There's a lot of grapes on here and we don't want them to go to waste. So let me show you real quick. So even though we're not probably gonna go do any lawns, we still have stuff to do here. So I'm getting all this burnt here, as you can see. Everything's wet. I have the hose. Um, I watched the fire. Um, it's not gonna spread, but look, I wanna make sure we get these grapes. Look at them. See all these grapes? Last year, this grapevine didn't produce this many grapes. And I think it's because we got a lot of rain earlier in the season. Look at all that. Nice. And then if you come over here on this side, there are some in here, not as many. I think I need to cut these vines out of here. Because, oh yeah, look. Wow. Yeah, definitely need to get these vines out of here. Right, guys? So that's our job today. We're cleaning up the grape patch to get the grape patch revived and going back to full strength. We'll fertilize them. So, can we do that, guys? We'll see. Look, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a faint little rainbow there. Oh, I bet you these need water. See the faint little rainbow? So we're gonna go down here and plant some corn before I mess around with that um, grapevine patch. We haven't had to water much of anything today because we got rain, as you can see on the rain gauge there. About two, one, two and a half inches. Not bad, everything's looking pretty good. So let's go out here and see what we're gonna do over here. Look, all the wind that blew my tarp, my plastic up. So I think out here we're gonna plant corn on the back row right there. We have 150 seeds, and then we're gonna go with flowers all out here. What do you got there, Rach? So more strawberries. And we threw probably four of them that had bite yeah. marks in them, right? Mm -hmm. So something's still getting to them. I have no idea. We don't know what. I think it's the little it birds. Yeah, it might be the little birds. Look. So we're gonna. She gave us two before. I don't. Well, did you this use is... the ones in the refrigerator yet? Oh, there's some. Yeah, oh, this is the man. second batch so we then... picked in a, a day, I think. Yes. So Rachel's gonna mow all the outside over here, and all over here, and all in here, um, while I till up a spot for her right here. And what we're gonna do, she only has, she has two varieties of corn. So we're gonna plant one variety right now. And then in another two weeks, we're gonna plant another variety and hope that helps. And then we're gonna put all our melons here on this black fabric. And then guys over here on that side, instead of, t I'm gonna till it again real quick, just lightly. But what I'm gonna put on this side, since we don't have as much corn as we thought we did, we are gonna, I'm gonna, so I don't have to weed it and I can distinguish weeds and flower seeds. I'm gonna cut the bottom of these pots out and I'm gonna push them into the ground and we're gonna put a little bit of potting soil in the top and we're gonna plant the seeds in that potting soil so we know what seeds and where they're at and then I can just hoe in between all this other stuff because we have all these flowers we're gonna plant. So, and now it's starting to rain.
So guys, we're gonna go in and take a drink break because we definitely need to drink some water and yeah. like Gatorade after that. I just um, got finished mowing. And then, everything. yeah, Rachel got finished mowing the outside. You guys seen, I tilled this and got it ready for planting. I'll show you that after we're done doing a quick ending because if you watch this long, it's not very long in the beginning. We didn't do much. But if you watch this far in, um, I'm gonna weed eat all that grape and try to get that all under control. So yeah. I just wanted to do it the ending now in case it went into the dark and yeah. We really appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, watching, commenting. We're almost at 10,000, guys. Yeah, it's super exciting. Never, again, we never expected this, so we do appreciate you guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. Let's go look have at... Good, oh, oh, well, have a good night, but yes. continue to watch yes. because you're going to see us get into more. So I yes. prepped this all for Rachel to do corn. I, she's going to do corn in all four rows now, so you can space it out however you want. You have 150 seeds, you said. Yeah. And just in this last row, we're going to do every other one. We're going to do a climbing bean. And look at the two chickens out. Don't scratch my dirt. Okay, so after talking about it, Rachel wants to plant pumpkins here. Yeah. Um, and so be it if they climb out into this grass area, we'll direct them out there. Right. But, um, worst case scenario, if they start getting out of control, we'll just throw down some plastic more, here. More. So we're going to put Rachel's musk melons here. Um, she's going to plant them a foot apart because we're going to run them over a high cattle panel and then figure out how to get them to stay up in the air. Well, probably with pantyhose and stuff. Yeah, well, I have a bunch of different things, um, ordered. Oh, okay. Clips and stuff. I don't know if a clip will hold a melon though. You need like a pantyhose or a netting. Oh, that's right. Because they're bigger. So in here, I bought organic uh, raised bed soil. I'm going to put it in all these little pots here. And while I'm doing all the weed eating and stuff over there with the grape patch, we're going to get cleaned up. Um, Rachel's going to do seeds in here. So we'll go ahead and get that done. And then we'll have this whole corner done. And then you guys follow we'll do another garden walk through and see how all this stuff is doing marvelous man this came up pretty quick but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to bury this probably not smart to be in an open field right What you do when you're a gardener guys now we'll see if this corn here does any good because it's I can't hear you. i'm talking to the camera oh. see if this does any good there's a lot of rock over here but oh boy hopefully the lightning went away i think i seen lightning again well, we're down low. I mean, well, that one was definitely further away from the last one. Okay, I got all the corn covered. I guess Mother Nature is telling us we are done for the night. <sighs> right? You got the seeds? Yeah. Okay, we're going in. I guess I'll weed eat tomorrow morning, guys. And then we'll end the video. Oh, let's see how much rain we got. So we can see. Let's see how much rain we got so we know if this storm gives us any more. Okay. Oh my goodness. All Thunder. Okay, guys. We are about to embark on this disaster. We we're going to mow it first as much as I can. And then I'm going to go through here and weed eat all the taller weeds. And then after we're done weeding in all the taller weeds, we're going to come in here and cut stuff like this out. See, this is not a grapevine. And I don't think there's any grapes in this corner here, are there? So we can take this whole thing out and maybe plant a raspberry there for now. But these are the grapevines that we're going to... Look at them. So there's a lot of grapes on here and we want to clean them up 
and cover them before the birds get them. Last year, the birds got to them, and there wasn't many because we let it overgrow and we didn't have as much rain as we did in the beginning of the season, I think. So, let's see what it looks like when we're done. Is there any in here? Oh yeah, look. Okay, let's see how many clusters we have when this is all done. parts done. I mowed everything with the mower that I can actually mow the, with the walk behind 30, FW35. 
Now I'm gonna come in here and touch all the bottoms up. I'm gonna weed eat anything I couldn't get too close with. And then after that, we'll go in here and we'll clean up the grapes. We're gonna prune up this one bush over here. Hey guys, I'm almost done the hard part. When I'm done weed eating, I am gonna take a break um, and then we'll clean all this out. But I bet you guys didn't know we had grapes. So let me get this done and then we'll go ahead and go take a break. So guys, I'm back out here, I had to get cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to cut all this, um, if you see, there's other things other than grapes in here. So I'm gonna cut all this out and then assess how many grapes we have. And then me and Rachel are gonna go ahead and cover all this up with tool so the birds don't eat all these grapes. So let's get this cleaned up some more and then we're gonna see what we got there. So we got the easy part done on the grapes. Now I'm gonna work on the hard part. This is so intertangled with this thing here that I'm gonna be there for a little while to get this out. So let's
Okay, guys, we're all done this, and look at how much of a difference there is. But look at all these grapes on here. So when we're mulching, um, when we're mowing up the grass, I'm gonna mulch under these with all the grass. Um, and look, so many. They probably would have did so much better if this was all uncovered. This end doesn't have as many, but they're there. See them all up in there? So we'll cover this one later on. But nice. I'm no grape expert. Is there any way to make grapes sweeter, guys? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.